Hello, I'm Mr. Cole. I am the Technology Integrator for Merrill Middle School, Merrill Elementary, and Emmeline Cook. As a tech integrator, I get to help teachers and students use technology in the classroom to help push their learning to brand new levels. It's kind of an exciting job. Today, I want to talk to you about Chromebook rollout and Chromebook responsibility. In a few days, you're going to be picking up your Chromebook. And 7th and 8th graders, you'll be getting the same Chromebook back that you turned into the tub last year. So the condition that it was when you put it in the tub, that's exactly how it's going to look when you get it back. And that might be scaring some of you. 6th graders, you're going to get a Chromebook that's been handed down to you from the 8th graders. And they've been cleaned and wiped and taken care of and should be in pretty good shape. Now, if you do have case issues or if you do have device issues, when you get your Chromebook that day, we may not be able to take care of it that day. Don't panic. We'll do our best to get you taken care of with a different case or uh, maybe send your Chromebook in to get fixed. Now, what I'd like to do is talk about responsibility. In the next few slides you're going to see, we're going to talk about a few important details to help remind you how to take care of that Chromebook. And for you sixth graders, this is a big deal because this is the first time you're going to be able to take your Chromebook home. And that's really where we have a lot of issues when it comes to bringing the Chromebooks back, bringing them back charged, taking care of them, keeping them clean. So pay attention to these next few slides and um, you should be in good shape. So remember, this Chromebook, when you get it, is going to be checked out to you. It's just like a textbook or a library book. It's going to have your name in the district assigned to you. So you want to take care of this check Chromebook. Um, any damages or lost Chromebooks are going to be your responsibility. You will be given an ID that's going to be in the case in that little window. Make sure that ID stays in good condition and is readable for anybody. So just in case your Chromebook is um, out of your sight or out of your hands, everybody will know that that is your Chromebook. So that's very important. Keep that ID in that case. Now when you get your Chromebook, you want to be careful carrying it. We see a lot of kids carrying their case with the zipper open or carrying it by the screen. Always zip that thing up when you're carrying it and try to carry it with two hands. If you're putting it in your backpack, make sure there's a lot of room in your backpack for that Chromebook. Um, don't want to squish that with other books and headphones and other devices. And we'll talk about damage in a second. Now, when you get your Chromebook, um, you're going to have to put it right into your locker. It's going to be dead. It's been sitting all summer. Um, make sure you put it in a safe place in your locker. Hang it on the hook. Put it on top of your books. Um, don't just stuff it in the bottom of your locker where you're going to stuff everything else. You really want to do extra things to take, take care of this Chromebook. Now, Remember, your Chromebook is going to be dead when you get it. Your responsibility is to take it home and get it charged. You're going to need to find a spot at home, preferably not in your bedroom, someplace out in the kitchen or um, someplace where you can charge it every single day. It's your responsibility. You cannot be carrying your charging cord to and from school every single day. Keep that cord at home. It doesn't fit in some of those cases very well. So take that home and get that charged. If you get a chance, shut down your Chromebook. Um, it, what it does is it automatically updates Chrome every night. Um, some of you found out last year that update is very important. Um, when Google pushes out an update, they do it automatically. So the only way that's going to happen on your Chromebook is to shut it down. Um, if you're trying to save power, shut it down. Um, just closing your Chromebook does not save power. So shutting it down will allow you to keep your Chromebook charged throughout the day, especially during lunch and fiat or other times you're not using your Chromebook. It only takes a few seconds to start it back up. Now, a lot of you are going to want to authenticate right away when you get your Chromebook. Maybe there'll be a charge on it or the next day when you come back to school. We're going to give you some directions to allow you to connect to the network. It's called authenticating to the network. Your Chromebooks are part of the Oshkosh Area School District and work best with the Oshkosh Area School District logins. Every one of them has been wiped. You're going to need to go through this process. Your teachers will get this process. Please don't panic. You're going to need to remember your password. Please don't panic. If you don't know these things or if it's not working for you after you get it charged, we will help you. We will help you fix this. So please don't panic. Everybody will get a small sheet of paper that has the directions to authenticate. We're doing this just because we know you're going to be anxious. But again, remember, it may not work. So if it doesn't work, be patient, bring it back the next day. We can help you. We'll get it figured out. Also, remember that your Chromebook is school property. Everything you do, everything you type, everything you record is not private. It's school property. This is not your cell phone. This is not your bedroom. This is not where you can do things and nobody is watching. This is school property. So keep that in mind. The things you share, the things you type, um, even deleted things are not gone forever. So if 
you know, remember that when using your Chromebook. Also, um, teachers have something called GoGuardian. The school has GoGuardian that allows us to watch your Chromebook even when you're at home. So your use at home is still going through the district. Just keep that in mind. Now, teachers have GoGuardian as well. They have the ability to track who's using what on their devices in their classrooms. Um, it is an idea that they can use to um, gather data on who's on task. They can push out tasks to you through GoGuardian. So what you'd want to do is you want to allow the teachers you go use GoGuardian to do their job. Those of you that try to get around GoGuardian, you're just causing trouble. Um, some of you found out last year it's not a good place to be. So please just allow GoGuardian to work. If it's not working for you and your teacher, help them out. Help them get connected to GoGuardian. It's not there to be the watchdog for you. It's there to help the teacher help you learn. Now, if you are doing things inappropriately, some of the things that teachers may do is close your Chromebook. If they close it, they're the ones that get to open it. So there's going to be times where you're not going to be able to use your Chromebook. Please um, respect those times and allow the teacher to tell you when your Chromebook is going to be used and when it's not going to be used. Please do not alter your case or your Chromebook in any way. Adding stickers or skins to your Chromebook is not allowed. So you want to be able to hand this Chromebook back in at the, in the spring, looking exactly like it is when it was given to you. Um, if you do add things to your case or to your Chromebook, it's possible that you will be charged for those things. Damage. Damage is one of the big things that we have with kids not taking care of their Chromebooks, um, but accidents happen. So the media center will help you with damages. Be respectful. Make sure you go down at certain times that are appropriate. You lose a pass, come before school, after school, lunchtime to work with the media center in taking care of damage. Now, screen damage, probably the number one thing that we have, people grabbing their screen with their thumbs or laying things in their Chromebook and then closing it. Um, usually these things happen at home. Be sure to take care of your screen. Um, do not set things in between or atop of your keyboard. Do not store papers in your Chromebook case. Um, all those things are liable to cause damage to your screen. And even though we do have a process for taking care of those damages, um, if things happen too often, you are going to be responsible for those damages. If you're going to clean your screen, use a soft wipe, an electrofiber wipe. Um, do not use water to clean your screen. Keyboard damage, probably the second thing that we have. For some reason, kids like to pick these keys off. Picking the keys off is going to be charged to you. Keyboard damage is something that you will be charged for, so please take care of your keyboard. Um, people that like to game, their number one damage we have is keyboard damage. Um, pounding on those keys is not good for this keyboard. This is a learning tool. This is not a gaming tool. It's not a social media tool unless it's for school use. So please keep that in mind. Um, gaming damage and keyboard damage is probably going to come back to you and you will be charged. Now, cleaning your Chromebook. Throughout the year, you're going to want to try to keep your Chromebook clean. Um, during home base, we will have Chromebook checks and um, hopefully, you know, throughout the year, we'll be able to keep your Chromebook in top cleaning condition inside and out. If you do need to clean your Chromebook and you're concerned about that, there are cleaning supplies in the media center that will help you take care of that. Now, you all have expectations for appropriate use. This is just a list of some of the things for you to be respectful, be responsible when using your Chromebook. Please follow the guidelines given to you by your teachers and PBIS at Merrill Middle School. Using your Trojan Pride, this Chromebook should last you for many years. If there are things that you have questions about, please don't hesitate to ask. If you see inappropriate use by others, please don't hesitate to report those things. Um, we don't want kids to get in trouble by using their Chromebooks to going to places or doing things that are just going to get them in huge trouble. If we can catch those things early, we can use it as a teaching opportunity to keep people on the right track using their Chromebook for the uses that it was meant to be, and that's for your education and for some great learning, hopefully. Now, passwords. Many of you may have forgotten your password. Um, sixth graders, your password is going to be set back to your student ID. So. Um, when the time comes, we will be changing passwords. Think about passwords. Think about a passphrase, something you will remember. Um, everyone, even teachers, will be changing your passwords throughout the year, but make that a password that's only for you, and more information about digital citizenship and passwords will be coming out shortly. Now, screen damage. Did I mention screen damage? Screen damage. Please take care of your screens. It's very important.
there are costs for your Chromebook. Um, damage to your Chromebook throughout the year um, can cost you and your parents quite a bit of money. So number one reason to take care of it is that cost. The sticker is on your Chromebook to remind you that um, these are not free and it's your responsibility. Cases as well have a cost. Um, even though the cases have become reasonable, if your case is damaged um, or has fallen apart, students do have the opportunity to buy brand new cases. Um, if your case is damaged due to prior use from somebody prior, um, before you, please bring it to the media center. We'll try to work those things out, but um, you want to take care of these cases. This charging cord, another problem we have in the past was kids losing their charging cord. Um, if you bring these things to school, it is your responsibility. If they disappear, no matter how it disappears, it's still your responsibility. It's your job to replace that charging cord. The best idea, keep the cords at home, have a space to charge, charge every night, come to school every day with a charged Chromebook, and you won't need your cord at school. We do have places at school where you can charge your Chromebook. Use those places if needed. It doesn't take long if you shut your Chromebook all the way down to get a pretty good charge for the rest of the day. Earbuds, earbuds are kind of important um, for a lot of the activities that you're gonna be doing throughout the day. I know a lot of kids like to have the big earphone um, setups, try to stuff them in their case. Um, there are nice earbuds out there. Please try to get yourself a nice set of earbuds. When it comes to listening on your devices, we always ask that you keep the volume down so that only you can hear them. Um, but earbuds that uh, you can keep in your case will become very helpful. Finally, the Media Center is your um, center for support when it comes to your Chromebook. Come to the Media Center um, at appropriate times with a pass. We can help you with Chromebook questions, Chromebook damage. Um, take care of those things right away. We're not going to wait till the end of the year this year to take care of Chromebook damage. So um, please use the Media Center before or after school, lunchtime, um, any of those passing times where it's, where it's appropriate to come down to the Media Center, we will help you out. And finally, um, I told you before, I'm a technology integrator. Uh, part of my job is to help you move yourself up what we call the SAMR model, where you're not just doing your work on your Chromebook uh, for typing. We're going to help you use that Chromebook to redefine how you do your projects and how you learn this year at Merrill Middle School. So please reach out to me, Mr. Cole, if you want to take your projects to the next level. With that, I'm going to wish you luck with your new Chromebook. I hope you are excited about um, learning with your Chromebook, and please reach out to me or the Media Center if you have any questions. When you pick up your Chromebook, you got to remember your Chromebook has been sitting all summer and it's not charged. It's going to be dead. So the day you get your Chromebook, the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be checking it out and putting it away in your locker. So it's going to be your responsibility to take your Chromebook home and charge it overnight. Now, I know a lot of you are going to try to log in and sign in and authenticate your Chromebook. We'll give you a piece of paper that will help you through those steps. But there's going to be some issues sometimes. Sometimes you're going to have to check the time and the date. Make sure that that's right or it won't grab any Wi-Fi. You're going to have to connect to the Wi-Fi. Sometimes that may not happen, even at home or at school. We can fix those things. Um, you're going to have to authenticate the whole thing because, remember, we wiped them clean. So they're going to have to start all over. And there's a process for that that we're going to try to help you with with a sheet of paper the day you get your Chromebook. But if those things don't work, don't worry about it. We will take care of it the next day or sometime soon. Don't panic. We can fix those things. Sometimes those things happen at the beginning of the year when these things have been sitting all summer. So hopefully you're excited about getting your new Chromebook. You learned about how to take care of it and all the things that are responsible for this case and this Chromebook. And I know that you'll do a great job this year. And if you ever need help, don't be afraid to talk to your tech integrator, Mr. Cole.